Hello again. Uh, this is another G1 Transformers review. Uh, as you can see, this is another Dinobot. Uh, I've already done Swoop and I've already done Grimlock. And this one is the unusually named Slag. I know they were doing it along the lines of uh, molten metal, so to speak, but uh, it means something else these days, which we won't go into. But uh, as you can see, he's modelled on a Triceratops uh, dinosaur, uh, plant-eating dinosaur. I think it's the Jurassic period. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on such things, but um, as you can see, he was one of the original of the beast forms, so to speak. The Dinobots, I believe, were the first of the beasts to actually be in the G1 series. Uh, as you can see, he's quite in nice condition. I've had him since he was new, so he's not been sort of too molested, so to speak. Um, I'll go through a little bit of articulation. He's got some basic leg articulation on the front leg, and you can bend at the knee as well, and you'll see why later in his transformation, and turn at what would be his hip and his mouth opens and closes uh, but that's obviously it as a beast because there isn't anything else much more to him as that um, one thing I would show you is he comes with his weapons which are a rocket launcher with the chrome missiles a red sword again which all the Dinobots had and his handheld blaster now either in robot mode or dinosaur mode this part of the rocket launcher actually fits in to his, the side of his leg at the front there so he can actually use the weapon in either mode which is a nice little feature the fact he doesn't need his hand to actually hold it which is a little bit of a shame they didn't do that with Grimlock's one um, ok I shall start to transform him now as you can see he's got quite a nice degree of chrome uh, on him as well as decoration, gold chrome on the feet, the silver chrome on the back and the, around the neck and then silver chrome on his mouth as well. Well to transform him, first things first you need to pull apart the back sections, I'm going to move my hand out the way so you can see, you pull apart his back sections there and you lift up his tail and that's on a long black piece of hinged sort of rod there what comes up the back now you then have to swing open his sides so they're almost like DeLorean car sort of doors a little bit like uh, the Back to the Future car and they swing up to the top there and then you swing his whole back section I'll do it from the side as well as you can see down and round like that and do it both ways. You have to pull them out to the side so that they clear the upper part of the leg and they become his feet. Now with the tail you just bring these back pieces back in slightly and then double hinge it and tuck it up between his triceratops horns and then with his what were his back legs where they were bending at the knee you fold them up and that just sort of neatens them up while they're attached to the sides of his legs. As you can see he's starting to take shape now as a transformer. In his front legs on the inside they're just a sliding clip just to slide out his fists straight out the front and as I say he can hold his weapons in his hands. Now one feature before I pull down the front chrome piece which is his mouth to show you his face and that as with all the Dinobots they all have the original sort of diaclone cockpit for the little robot man what used to go inside and Slag's no different he's got a chest cavity there where you could put things in I used to store actually the missiles in there so that they didn't get lost so it was a handy compartment in that way 
So the last thing you need to do is just fold down his mouth and that reveals his Autobot logo and his head. And I bring that in and as you can see, as I said on the Dinobot review of um, Grimlock, got red eyes which it's unusual because I do believe, well, I haven't actually checked yet since I did that review, but I'm pretty sure that in all the G1 cartoons they had blue for their eye colour. So there's a little bit of a mistake there from transferring one thing to the other, but then they did do that in continuity in quite a few different things, as in the Rumble and Frenzy colour schemes. Um, as ever, he came with his. G1 um, instruction manual, which obviously shows you how to transform it. Um, but that's it. Um, a very good figure. Again, I would recommend this, as I said, with Grimlock and with Swoop. Um, they are very good G1 figures, very similar to their cartoon appearance, as you can see. I, mean, I know there's a little bit of kibble, a little bit more with slag, he's not the most streamlined figure but then in the cartoons they weren't really either um, I would recommend it, he is a good figure um, and if you're into your sort of beast figures and that these are the origins of the beast formers of what then later became such things as beast wars and such figures as those really um, that's about it really there's not a lot much else to say about him other than if you can afford to find one that's in good condition I would recommend you get him um, that's all really uh, all the best and I'll see you again for another review